Hi guys, today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how to convert your LG G3 into an LG G5. Let's go do this, baby. I said, what's up, DJ? How's it going? Okay guys, so here is my LG G3 and LG G5. I'm running what's called the Full Mix ROM, which is based on latest Android 6.0. Also brings you all of the LG G5 software features right onto your LG G3. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the launcher here. And you'll see that home screen settings, uh, I've got pretty much the same thing as the LG G5. You can change the grid size, uh, change out the theme change the slide effects, exact same. Enable, disable the smart button. Also, as an extra, you can also switch back to UX 4.0 if you want an app drawer there, right? That will give you the ability to get two different launchers in one. So that is really nice. As far as performance, performance is excellent. On N22, I'm getting scores of 56,071. So that is really good. Uh, you'll get all of the latest enhancements of Marshmallow, Doze, very good battery life, all that good stuff. I've actually daily drove this for a couple days uh, and battery life has been really, really good. All right, also you get Root out of the box and also Viper for Android, which makes this better than this software wise. Let's go ahead and look at the settings menu real quick here and you will see everything is identical because this is a ported ROM. Um, you can see everything same here, sounds and notifications, same, also display, uh, exactly the same. The only thing that's missing right now is the always on display. So always on display, unfortunately, will not work on this LG G3. That should be coming soon in future updates. But I mean, for right now, it looks pretty good as it is. You can see everything is the same. Of course, fingerprint sensor, you won't get it. There's a, no fingerprint sensor on this phone. Of course, there is full mix tweaks. What makes this ROM better than an LG G5 is that you can actually tweak it uh, with full mix tweaks, full mix tweaks. All right, display, you can go ahead and change the notification LEDs, screen DPI, enable all rotations status bar you can enable traffic monitor you can hide the clock if you want show the clock um change the clock color you know let's say you want it green you can do that green font style you can go ahead go ahead and change it to all these font styles change the clock position left right wherever you want it date if you want date all right, Sunday. All right, you got the toggles that you can customize. You can hide the icons if you want. Battery bar, heads up notifications. You can change out the timeout so it doesn't annoy you with the new marshmallow. Launcher, double tap screen off. Navigation bar. You can go ahead and change this navigation bar smaller or to default. You can change what the long press back button does. Kill app, dual window, long press home. You can change it to Google Now or toggle torch. So if you hold it down, it will enable the flashlight and also turn it off. Volume buttons, lock screen, uh, miscellaneous, you can enable call recording. Advanced, you can access hidden menus on your phone. So it makes it all better. Now, one note about installation, this ROM, the latest version that I'm installed here, 5.0 does not come with the camera. Now there's a fix for this. Go to Fullmix Hub. This gives you all the fixes. You can download themes. Um, you can download themes for keyboards, all right? You can also get fixes. Go here, go download fix camera not showing, download, and it'll be stored under full mix ROM. All you have to do is reboot into Torp and install this to get the camera. And the camera works fine. It is flawless, regular LG camera. You also get the time-lapse mode from LG G5 as an added bonus. Awesome stuff, all right? Performance is Excelente, you cannot go wrong with this ROM. You get the latest Android 6.0. You can also install it on pretty much all of the LG G3s, which I'll show you here in a bit. All right, once you're excited enough, let me go ahead and show you how to install it. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery. So go ahead and hold down. Just go ahead and power off your phone. All right, once it's completely powered off, you're gonna hold down volume down and the power button. 
Hold it down until you see the logo. Keep holding down the volume button. Keep let go of the power button, but keep uh, hold it down again like that, and you will enter into this uh, recovery state. Um, once you have rooted and Torb recovery installed, don't worry about this. Say yes, and also say yes, and this will actually enter you into Torp recovery. Or you can use Quick Boot app, uh, which is easier. But I just want to show you how to do it manually in case you wipe off your phone. All right, once you're here, go ahead and go to wipe, do a factory reset. This will erase everything, of course. You'll have to do a factory reset. Um, it won't erase any contents of your SD card or internal storage. Next, go ahead and install, go to full mix ROM. All right, confirm to flash. It'll give you several options. I'll show you in a bit. When you're done installing all that, when you reboot um, and then you download the fix, let me just show you where to get the fix. Uh, go to your full mix directory fixes, go to camera fix and confirm flash. That's how you flash the uh, camera fix after you install the ROM. All right, let's go ahead and install the ROM real quick. I just want to show you the menu. It's not actually install it, but go ahead and go here. Confirm flash. This will give you a Roma installer. You'll have an option to actually choose the different type of model that you have. So hit next installation. You'll have the option for all the Korean models, AT&T, T-Mobile, Canadian, International Sprint, US Cellular, even Verizon. So go ahead and choose that. Um, several more options, install, reboot, and you should be good to go. I'm not gonna actually install it since I've already installed it, but that's how you install it. <laughs> install it, and you can have software powers of LG G5 right on the LG G3. I know some of you will ask me about which case I'm using. This is the VRS case I'm using for the LG G5. This is a cruiser-like case for LG G3. I'll have the links to the Amazon in the description if you guys are interested. Very nice cases. And don't forget to donate to the developer of the ROM. I'll have a donate link in the description also because the developers work really hard on these ROMs. So buy them a beer if you end up using this ROM as a daily driver. All right, that's pretty much it. Turn your LG G3 into an LG G5. Have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on Android. Boom shakalaka, baby. Click here to subscribe. All right, perfect.